Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey formed one of the most memorable on-screen couples of all time when they starred together in 1987's Dirty Dancing. However, Jennifer almost didn't sign on to the picture because she and Patrick had some decidedly negative experiences together while filming 1984's Red Dawn. To guard. Dirty Dancing stars Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey had a complicated relationship. This was true during the filming of the classic movie as well as before and after it. Today, Jennifer is 62 and Patrick has been deceased since 2009. Despite their complicated past, there are few people who Jennifer holds as close in her heart as she does the late Patrick Swayze. One of her most profound memories of her late Dirty Dancing co-star involves a tearful apology he gave to her during the audition process. If it hadn't been for this tearful apology, Jennifer likely wouldn't have signed on to the film in the first place. The auditioning process wasn't the first time Patrick and Jennifer met. They'd known each other for several years at that point and had somewhat of a contentious relationship. The origins of this relationship can be traced back to the pre-production period of another 80s classic. They were cast together in the 1984 film Red Dawn. It's about a group of teenagers who take World War III into their own hands. They fight like soldiers, and none other than Patrick Swayze played their heroic leader. A lot went into the production of the movie, as the filmmakers wanted to make sure their teenage cast came across as appropriately threatening during the picture. To achieve this effect, the cast of the movie was put through a boot camp prior to filming. Given that Patrick was going to be tasked with playing the leader, he was also considered the leader during this boot camp period. As legend has it, Swayze took his role as a leader on the set to comedic extremes. He relished his position and often abused his power by playing pranks on his underlings. One of these underlings was Jennifer Grey. As one might imagine, Jennifer had a decidedly negative view on Patrick by the time filming was over. A few years later, Jennifer and Charlie hooked up on screen via Ferris Bueller's Day Off. However, Jennifer's role in Ferris Bueller was only a supporting one, and she was still looking for the perfect starring vehicle. Her portrayal of main character Baby in Dirty Dancing has gone on to become so iconic that fans may assume the actress was a perfect fit for the role. However, there were numerous things keeping Jennifer from signing on. For one thing, Jennifer didn't know how to dance. For another, Patrick Swayze had signed on before her. Although she was anxious to get a starring role in a movie, she wasn't anxious to appear on the screen alongside Patrick Swayze again. In addition, she was also nervous about her lack of dancing ability. Both of these things made the actress consider passing on her dirty dancing role. Thankfully, she decided to show up for a screen test before turning it down. She believed the screen test would allow her to see if she could comfortably perform the role. As it turns out, she ended up being won over by Patrick during the screen test. Patrick gave Jennifer a tearful apology. When Jennifer showed up to the screen test alongside Patrick for a potential role, the male star quickly became aware she was nervous. It didn't take long for Patrick to realize that her shot nerves were a result of the negative experiences she had with him on the set of Red Dawn. When Patrick realized what the problem was, he pulled her aside and gave her a heartfelt apology. The apology was apparently so heartfelt, the actor broke down into tears. Jennifer allegedly broke into tears as well. Part of Jennifer felt as if the tearful Patrick was duping her, but the incident was powerful enough that she was able to loosen up for her screen test. It involved Patrick lifting Jennifer over his head in what would end up becoming Dirty Dancing's signature dance move. When Patrick first lifted her over his head during auditioning, the sparks flew immediately. After the successful screen test, Jennifer signed on to star in the movie. The rest is history. Though Patrick and Jennifer got along better during the filming of Dirty Dancing, there were still a few more issues that the performers had to deal with over the course of production. For one thing, Patrick was a good deal more experienced. Not only was he a more experienced performer on screen, he was also the only one of the two that had any background in professional dancing. There was still some tension on set. Jennifer knew next to nothing about dancing. Given that Patrick Swayze was a consummate professional when it came to the art, he and Jennifer butted heads a few times over the actress's lack of ability. It has been said Patrick grew impatient with Jennifer multiple times over the course of production. He was frustrated at her ability to dance, but also at her need to do multiple takes for seemingly simple lines, Members of their excellent chemistry by showing them the tape of their screen test. This tactic apparently worked its charm, as the two performers were able to pull it together afterwards and make magic happen. Dirty Dancing was released in 1987, but no one predicted what a massive hit it would become. After Dirty Dancing, the two never worked together again. 
Rumors continued to swirl about the stars hating each other. By the time of Patrick's untimely death in 2009, it was pretty much common knowledge that the two stars didn't have the best relationship. In the wake of Patrick's death, Jennifer has done everything in her power to quell these rumors. Though the two stars weren't close after filming, Jennifer claims she never felt any bad blood towards Patrick. Jennifer went on to win Dancing with the Stars. In 2010, a year after Patrick's death, Jennifer Grey became a contestant on Dancing with the Stars. It was notable for several reasons. For one, she was the star of one of the most popular dancing movies in modern times. For another, she didn't have any background in dance. Since the release of Dirty Dancing, the fact that Jennifer Grey had no legitimate dancing background had become public knowledge. Combined with the rumors of Patrick being impatient with her during filming, many took this to mean Jennifer couldn't dance at all. Her time on Dancing with the Stars ended up meaning a great deal for the actress. Not only did it give her the chance to get back into the spotlight, but it also gave her the chance to prove that she could hold her own on the dance floor. She ended up wowing the audience during her time on the show, proving once and for all she knew how to move her feet. She was so successful, she ended up winning. During the Dancing with the Stars press cycle, Jennifer could be heard reminiscing positively about the late Patrick Swayze. Though they had their difference, Jennifer has always held him close in her heart. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Jennifer Grey almost didn't sign on to star in Dirty Dancing because of bad blood with Patrick Swayze? Let us know in the comments section below.